Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Enrique, and this is Easy Things to Draw. Uh, I'm going to go over how to draw a generic plane. And, uh, you know, this is just like a primer, you know what I mean? If you, you never knew anything about planes, and uh, this is pretty much for you if you don't know anything uh, about planes at all. Like, like I was just like this a while ago. Uh, and I still don't know a whole lot about planes, keep in mind. But I do know how to draw this generic plane. You know, a general plane. Uh, first off, let me go to a couple of very minor terms in terms of drawing them. By the way, uh, the two radically different ones you'll see. You see, like the airliners, the ones that anything that carries people will tend to be like a rounder looking plane. You know, we're talking about like military uh, planes which carry uh, supplies or tankers or you know they carry um, people. They tend to be rounder, kind of heavier looking, and then like things like fighter fighter jets or bombers, those tend to be, uh, you know, thinner, skinnier, you know, less wind resistance, uh, which I believe even the bombers, the stealth bombers, those big old things that look like frisbees in the air, they're black, they look like, uh, like these flat frisbee things. So just keep that in mind. And there's the older planes with the propeller, which I'm not really going to go over. It's more the, you know, that kind of replaced by the jet engine for the most part, but I guess it's, you know, obviously still have planes that do that. So there's a couple of different parts that, like, again, most of them have general parts, right? And so I'm going to go over that. There will be the... F and I'm going to go over right here in this drawing. So when I'm going to draw... I'm drawing this in pen, by the way. I recommend drawing this in anything kind of hard, like a hard pencil. Not a soft pencil. Really hard pencil because we're doing technical type drawing. And then... Or a pen. Like, I'm going to be using a pen. The first thing I do when I establish... Uh, you know, any plane, like if I'm just sketching it out, you know what I mean? We're not doing construction plans or anything, is I will establish the fuselage shape. And the fuselage is just the main body of whatever plane this is going to be. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to make any particular plane right now. I'll probably make like a soft looking plane and I'll go over it in a little bit. Um... There is the soft part. Well, I'm sorry, soft part. Wow. There's the middle part, which is the fuselage. There is the wings, right? There is... Uh, I'm just going to throw a graphic up and show you. There's a the fuselage. There's the wings. There's the... Uh, what's that called? Oh, my brain. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's on the tip of my brain. Vertical stabilizer. And then there's the, L there's the uh, horizontal stabilizer. And then there's the wings, like I said, there's the jet, and then there's the, what do you call that, uh, the engine intake. Um, those three, those parts are really the main part of, like, most planes, and you can kind of toy with them. Uh, so let me kind of do go over this as I'm drawing it. One thing to keep in mind is, you know, this is going to be very different from drawing, uh, you know, kind of people in a way, because you're doing something that's very mechanical, uh, you're going to have to have perspective in the back of your head so I would kinda keep that in mind so when I'm doing this I'm thinking of a perspective grid and if you don't know how to do that perspective grid that kinda thing in your mind go to my perspective video right now watch that then come back like really watch that um, because we're gonna have to be thinking that way I'm, I'm thinking of this as a, as a straight line in between here to keep that even my fuselage even and then let's say I'm gonna throw a line that X is that for the wings, right? And let's say I'm going to make the wing come out of here. I'm drawing this very light at first. This is going to be going back, you know, back in space. And I'm drawing this very softly, and I'm about to go over it really hardcore. The vertical stabilizer, uh, that has the kind of, you know, the this motion, the left and right. And I have to find the center portion of this plane. Goes off as this triangular shape. 
And then I have to see this line right here for the wing. In term, and by the way, I could change that up. But for the most part, that line right there I have as kind of a base, I'm going to parallel that line over here as close as I can for the most part. Maybe even slightly going off to a distance, slightly. Things. So I'm going to be thinking like that when I throw in this you know, the uh, stabilizers for the horizontal, you know what I mean? They're like tiny little wings at the end of the airplane. And I'm going to tie that up there. Kind of reminds me of a fish a little bit, the, the body of it. We'll go over fish one day too. Uh, it's going to have a lot of little hatches. I have like doors in the back. This depends on what kind of plane. You know, you can maybe throw like a little door on it. Uh, let me thicken this whole thing up so you know what's going on. So let me zoom into this real quick. Okay, and I'm do, I try to do that pretty quick. It's a little bit harder to uh, kind of demo with a pen. Uh, reason being, at least if it's not organic, the reason being it just takes longer to get this value. You know, pencils like boom. But the thing is, I want to use a pen for this. I think it's more, I don't know, productive. Uh, throw a little shape here at the end, whatever that may be. And again, we're just going over a very generic plane. We're not going to go over. I mean, clearly this is very roundish. You know, it reminds me of like I said, the stuff that picks you up, um, picks people up. What do you call that for flights? I forgot to throw in a. Uh, you can throw in the uh, engine intake, which replaces the propeller on the front, essentially. Try to remember uh, your ellipses. I think that ellipse is a little whack, to be honest. But it serves for the demo. And, uh, you know, this is the general idea of the plane. And you can throw the windows up front here. It rounds around, wrapping around that shape. You know, again, depends what kind of plane. But I'm definitely thinking one of those big, goofy ones that carries people. So anyways, uh, those are the general parts of a generic plane. You can take that and run with it. For example, for the wings, right? I can change the shape. Well, for example, okay, here's one more thing for everything. Uh, there are little flaps everywhere on these. If you cut into this shape, and that's how the, the it changes the wind direction as it catches, as the wind catches it. It's everywhere. You know what I mean? Those little flaps turn up. You know, and they're all over the wing. I think the this one has a ton of them too. And that's again how it manipulates. You know how it goes through the sky, etc. Things like that. Um, let me go over like like I said. Let's go over that one more time. So I'm starting with a sharper shape, and let me see, let me go over, I'm thinking of like a straight line through in my head, and I'm, that's actually what I do to set it up, pull a straight line and throw a line that's, per, uh, what do you call that, perpendicular, basically a line that crosses across that, and the back lines, everything has to line up. At least this direction, you know, or maybe slightly, slightly go back into a distance, you know. And I think that's a big thing, you know. It's a big disconnect for people that draw nothing but people. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a huge disconnect, and I understand it too. You know, I mean, I, I used to be that way. You know, I used to be that way. You know, like technical. It just once you get down to like straight lines, and it starts to get a little technical. I, I understand how it gets a little bit. You know, confusing. Um, so let me pull. Let me see. Let 
I'm going to try to do a fighter jet if I can. I'm pulling these lines over in my mind. Sorry if it's too hard to see. Right now it will come to fruition. See, pulling that line, follow that line, doom. At the edge of the wing, I think the edge of the wing looks a little big over there. I'm going to pull it in a little bit. Here, I'm thinking of the cockpit. You guys, where somebody's, you know, flying the plane. I didn't really go with that because I thought the fuselage pretty much, you know, covers that. It's a, it's almost looks like a like an arrow or something coming out of uh, there. And the engine comes from behind, by the way. This is the engine intake, but the engine on, on a fighter plane, kind of like or a bomber, usually has the exhaust come out the. Usually has the engine come out the back, so it makes a little circle. One thing to keep in mind um, for the fusil, uh, for the kind of cockpit of of a fighter jet, usually it looks like it's kind of like it reminds me of like a pill shoved into a box or something like that or just like uh, it seems like it's formation formed in there like an arrow stuck in there it's really very interesting the way that looks and you have to remember this is designed for like speed that kind of thing for maneuvering right here I need to carry a cross And I messed up that angle right there. So anyways, I just did the line art part of it. Uh, you know, hopefully you kind of learned a little bit of something on, you know, just basic parts of planes, uh, just basic planes. Uh, for this one has two uh, lateral, is that what we call it? Lateral. So for this one, there's two vertical stabilizers, and uh, kind of the same thing. It's kind of split into two with the jet. Some jets have one, but uh, the biggest thing with the jet, at least, is that it comes out. The exhaust comes out the back. You know, like I say, stated before, really pointy, thin, made for uh, the least amount of wind uh, resistance. I kind of screwed up here, like I said before. Uh, this is just the line art. Uh, I didn't shade it, do anything like that. Just wanted to go over the parts. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you did kind of like these segments and stuff like that, want to go over cars, motorcycles, uh, you know, just kind of like just fill this gap in your brain. Please like the video. Please like the video if you did so that I can, you know, the reason for that is so I can tell and do more of them. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later on. If you guys enjoyed that video, uh, on the top left corner, I'm going to put a playlist of uh, uh, Mario characters and video game type characters so look up at that uh, it's a whole playlist of stuff like that that's on traditional paper uh, i believe the sonic one is digital but i'm not really i don't think i'm talking through it too much but um yeah check that out uh on the top right corner there's uh my other channel enzyme art is a new channel it's a little bit of a passion project it's taught in a different way i get in front of a white screen it's presented in a very different way more like curriculum um so check that out if you haven't. Uh, we have about 14 videos up. I just put a new video up right now. And then the bottom right-hand corner is the Armadillo pencil case. It's a pencil case that uh, we started on Kickstarter two years ago. And it sells very well even now. And I'm so happy with that experience. And it was one of the probably one of my favorite experiences so far in my life uh, was doing that. And uh, if you want to support us, you know, check that out as well. Uh, and the final note. Uh, we have a Patreon. If you thought this video was worth at least a dollar, you know, a month, uh, you know, like, go to our Patreon, uh, you know, donate if you can. If not, don't worry about it, you know, there's still you're still going to get the same information, really. Um, it's just that there's minor perks to uh, donating to Patreon, but that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching this, and I'll see you next time.